Hi there, it's Jim from We Are Chain here. But today I'd just give a quick run through of what we think is so good about Shopify. Very easy to use platform and we say that um, because we've got lots of experience with it. But if you're, if you're looking to start a store or move from a different platform and you've heard Shopify is very easy to use, I'm just gonna try and show you how easy it is to use. So we'll start with my demo store here. This is the home dashboard and it's very easy to find stuff on here. So you've got orders, demo store, so nothing in there yet. But this is where you get all your customer information, their address, what they bought, how much they paid for it and what stage of the uh, order they're at. Products, probably the most important thing. So I'll just show you how to quickly add a product, which is quite fun. And I prepared a kitchen bar stool as a demo product. Now, Shopify is using a lot of AI these days. So as you can see here, it's just appeared a category, uh, bar stools and table and bar stools. It's using AI to uh, establish what it thinks the product is. A really useful bit of AI here, you can uh, get AI to generate your text for you. So let's say it's a, is a kitchen bar stool that comes in multiple colors and is handmade in France. Uh, so you can change the uh, tone of voice, persuasive, playful, expert. Let's stick with expert. Go generate. This handy handmade bar stool from France adds a touch of elegance to any kitchen. Uh, available in multiple colors, it's a perfect combination of style and function. Handcrafted with care, it's a must have for any kitchen. So that's really cool. Let's keep that. Let's upload a couple of images. Uh, so we'll go with the two colors I've got, the gray and the orange. And just while they're loading, let's add in a price. Let's call it 50 quid. Um, compare at price. If you want to offer a discount, you put 60 in there and it'll show 60 crossed out with 50 as the real price. Um, you can put your own pricing in there for how much it costs you to make the chair or to buy it from your supplier. So you can track profit and loss. Um, inventory, very simple, track quantity or not. So if you've got a warehouse full of stuff, you might want to track quantity. Um, and you can easily continue selling one out of stock if you have a very good supplier who's going to send you stuff as soon as it's ordered. Um, shipping, you can put weights in there. Very easy to shed up, set up different shipping um, options uh, for different countries, different weights of products, free shipping over uh, £75, things like that. Very simple with Shopify. Um, and... Uh, variants. So if I want to choose different colors, like I've got an orange and a gray one, I can do that. But as you can see, because it's worked out that it is a stool, a piece of furniture, um, it's giving me these options already, which is fantastic. So I don't need to sort of hunt around like I would have a year ago where I only had a sort of size, color, and maybe a material option. So let's go with color. Let's go orange and gray there we go let's get rid of the white okay done so let's add in the orange add in the gray and what's really good about this is when we come to look at the product we can switch between the colors and it'll show a different tool with the right color supporting it things like collections and tags very easy to do here they might have one which is stools don't have it so we can go and create it so i'll just save that let's create the collection stools the stools and we all say kitchen stools so this helps us let our customers find the store very quickly by we can add it to the navigation or onto the home page so i say save that and now I can search for products here and add that to the collection. Um, there's different ways of adding things to the collection. You can tag them and then anything with that tag will appear in this collection. So there we go. We have created our first product with two colors. We've got the price in there. Um, it's ready to go. And you can see here lots of different options. You can create gift cards, which are basically products. So you can sell a 10 pound gift card. Um, see your inventory, see your stock control. Um, list of your customers, uh, their information, if they're subscribers or if they're not subscribers. Um, you can do a lot of really clever searching and filtering on the customer database in Shopify. Content, this is where all your images and things like that are stored. So we've got a few images here, but very easy to find them. If you want to do some SEO, you can add in an alt tag like this just helps it get found there's some also some clever stuff which i'll show in another video of how to 
add some AI backgrounds to your product images. The analytics is fantastic. There won't really be any on here because there's no um, traffic, but you can see at the click of a button, you don't need to go off to Google Analytics or anything like that. You can see what your conversion rate is, how many people are visiting, where they're coming from, and how much they're spending. Uh, the live view is fantastic for like when you have a sale on, you can actually see where in the world your business is coming from, uh, what they're looking at, how many people have things in their carts, who's checking out, and it gets quite exciting. You wait for the ka-ching from Shopify, notifying you of a sale. Marketing, inbuilt email marketing is really good. You don't need to go for something like Klaviyo or MailChimp. You can just use the Shopify provided one. It doesn't have all of the bells and whistles that those platforms do, but if you're starting out and you have a fairly small list, it's, it's really good. And it's free for up to 10,000 cents a month, I think. Um, you can create emails, you can create abandoned basket campaign and workflows, which is really fantastic. Discounts speaks for itself, but you can create 10% uh, off your first order. You can give people a discount if they go to a show and you hand them out a leaflet with the discount on. Uh, very simple. So now I'll just progress on to the actual website itself. Um, so I go here to the themes. Uh, Dawn is the free theme that comes with all Shopify stores. So I'm just gonna show you how that works quickly because I don't wanna go on too long. But I've sort of built a little homepage here. I've put my logo in. I've got a menu. I've got an image banner. And this is a drag and drop editor. So it's, and it's very easy to use. So the first thing I've got is my banner. And on the right hand side, you can see I can change the image if I want and put another image to have a rotating banner. Changing things like text. I just click on it and I go kitchen stools and it does it for me. Um, I can add in collections. So I've got a featured product here. Um, I've only got one product on the store, but you can see, you can tell it how many products I'd like to show, which collection I'd like it to show. So I might want to have tables and then another collection of featured products. There's lots of different options here. You can see you can control quite a lot of this website, which for a free theme is really good news. You get loads and loads of different options. So image with text, you can have an image and then some sales messages. Multi column, you might have a collection of where the product comes from, how it's made, is it environmentally friendly, that sort of stuff. And you just click on each box and fill in the information. And there are lots of sections you can add. And the more you pay for a theme, the more sort of options you get. But on this, you can see you can add video, you can add email sign up, galleries, and different ways of displaying products. So it's it's really cool. If you want to edit the header and footer of your website, you can do it with from within here as well, which is really cool. So you just click there and you get all your options for your header. Controlling how the website looks and feels with fonts and colors, you just go into theme settings. You can change colors here. You can tell it what color you want buttons to be, what the color you want the body text and what um, headers and stuff like that you want to be. And your logo, very simple, saying how big it is. You see, I can adjust that and the logo becomes much bigger. The things up here, typography, I can tell it what font I want my text to be in and my headers and stuff like that. What my buttons want to look like. There's, there's lots and lots of stuff that you can edit in here. And you can see it's all in one place, which is really cool. So I'll save that. If I want to do a bespoke page, I can add a new page. So it goes to the default page and I get a title like this. Now, if I want to add some more information to this About Us page, I might want an image with text. So I might have a team photo. I would just add the photo in there and then add in my team. Sorry, my... And then create more. And then I might want to add a new section, which is an image banner. So I might put a photo and then a really nice call to action. And you can do this over and over and again. Our old Shopify, a couple of years ago, you couldn't do anything nice with pages without installing a page builder app. This gives you a lot more ability to improve your website. You can also edit things like your products. So let's go here, go to the default product. And here's our bar store. So if we want to add in more information down the right hand side, we can, in the same way we've done with page builders, we can add another block and with text, stuff like that, social sharing icons, really cool. And so products, you can actually do collections as well. So default collection look and, and change what it looks like, which is really cool. There's show second image on hover. So if I hover, you get the orange, then you get the gray. Really nice effects that make it quite fun for your customer to come and shop on your store. Right, just rounding off then um, with other things you can do within Shopify. Navigation, 
menus, very easy to build menus. You just add a new item. I could put my collection, I've got a collection of stools in there. But if I just type about, it'll find the page, it'll fill in the name of it, and we add that to the menu. And then I can control it and just drag and drop it there, save the menu, and I have edited the menu on my website. There are thousands and thousands of apps with Shopify that you can add to it to improve its capabilities. Uh, I'll try and keep them down to a minimum because they do tend to slow the platform down. But as for everything else, like billing, shipping, taxes, all of that, you can control it all in here in the settings panel. It's quite easy to find stuff. If you can't find things, use the search um, box up here and you can find almost anything very quickly. So for us, Shopify, uh, it's very easy to use, as you can see. Um, you can get going with a store quite quickly with a free theme, or you can choose one of the uh, more expensive paid ones, um, which you give you a much nicer look and feel. Um, I hope this has been a useful guide. I've tried to keep it as short as possible. Um, but if you want to know anything about Shopify and what it can do for your online store, um, give us a call. And we can also help with uh, training you and your staff if you're already up and running. Thank you.